For the second question, we have if sine of alpha is equal to 12 over 13 and cosine of alpha is equal to 5 over 13, then we are trying to figure out the value for tangent of alpha. First, we have to remember what's the connection between tangent, sine, and cosine. Well, we know that tangent is equal to sine over cosine, right? So in our case here, we can write tangent of alpha to be the same as sine of alpha over cosine of alpha. The reason we do this is because we know the value for sine of alpha already, so we can just plug that in. We know sine of alpha is equal to 12 over 13, so let me just put that down right here, 12 over 13 for sine alpha, and then we have that big fraction bar, and then for the denominator, we have the cosine of alpha, and that's 5 over 13, so I can just put that down right here. And as we can see, we end up with a complex fraction. We can do whichever way that we want to do to simplify this complex fraction. I would like to just show you because both of these small fractions, they have the denominator to be 13, right? So let me just multiply the 13 on the top, 13 on the bottom, so that this and that will cancel, and this and that will cancel. At the end, the answer is just 12 on the top over 5 on the bottom. This is it. And that's answer choice C right here. That's it.